So hi, everybody. Uh, we're really lucky to be joined by uh, Lauren, Dennis, and Henry from Grow. Uh, Grow is a fintech startup out of Vancouver that's doing really, really well and doing some really exciting things. Um, so most of you guys are probably working on their challenges. So uh, let's get to know the company a little bit more and, and then see what you can do to impress them and hopefully get a job uh, with Grow. So maybe Lauren, you can kick us off by talking a little bit about uh, the company and then maybe Dennis and Henry can, can jump in and talk about the technology after that. Yeah, sure. So hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Um, so Grow, we are a SaaS company, so software as a service, um, and we are kind of terming us also as an enterprise FinTech company. Um, it sounds pretty fancy, but really we're just a company in the banking space and we want to create innovative technology to provide um, more convenience, uh, better solutions to banking right now. So a lot of this is going to be turnkey lending, analytics, and other banking services. Um, so our like banking Canada, we shouldn't have to choose between um, banking brands and also great fintech solutions. So that's what we're working on. And so the two challenges that we've given you guys, and I don't know if that was enough explanation. If you want more explanation, I can give you more. But um, we want to do solutions to big things here. So like digital mortgages is really, really um there's a huge appetite for it right now. Um, the big, we have big five, we have five big banks here in Canada, and they all are really, really interested in that. So that's why we made one of those challenges for digital mortgages. Um, and there's lots of other really cool things here too. Really, we're just providing the banking solutions or banking software behind the bank. So it would be white labeled turnkey operations that we'd be doing for. Um, the big banks here in Canada, uh, financial institutions. We're partnered with credit unions here too. So. Uh, I don't know. Does that make sense? Does anyone have questions about that? Do I do a small but enough? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it, it makes sense to me, but I think because of the difference in the, the systems in the countries, uh, maybe there's some, some questions about that. But uh, um, maybe before we get into the questions, I'd love to hear from, from either Dennis or Henry about the technology. So uh, talk about maybe the, the, the tech stack you guys have and, and what kind of developers you're looking for. I'm on the front end. Our front end is entirely React. We started uh, redoing our front end about eight months ago, I'd say. So our front end is React, and then our back end is mainly Java. And then our data team uses Python and a bit of R. Awesome. Very cool. And as you guys mentioned, you're looking for people who have good fundamentals, not necessarily people who know a specific framework or something like that. I mean, especially with React, because it is quite new compared to other frameworks, and it's very hard to find React specialists right now. So at least on the front end, we're looking for people that can pick stuff up and they already know the fundamentals. And then that way, just picking up React is quite simple. Great. Cool. Um, all right. So any questions, guys? Um, that was of information, but if there's any questions about the group grow, the challenges, anything like that, let me know. Or let us know. Don't all ask at once. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a question. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Okay. So uh, the challenges are described just for a front change and a back end, right? Yeah. <laughs> But I, I, I'm with, with a team with a theme that we have a backend and two backend with Java and a front change. Yeah. He doing his this job, right? And I, I am a UI designer. So I'm I'm doing the interface. Is that matter how is going to to supposed to do? I don't know. Because I'm doing all the, the interface, all the illustrations yeah. stuff. What what's your question though? Sorry. Uh, if because the challenges are described only for front change and back end. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if I I know that you guys are not looking for that like a designer. So yeah. I'm my, my question is, uh, my job is is going to be a part of that? Like, is does it matter? Or are you guys are going to 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 make a I don't know kind of analyze, uh, I don't know, analyze my job. 
Yeah, no, a hundred percent. The um, the big part of Grow is our branding and how how our UI looks and just having, for example, most hackathons people use something like Bootstrap or a pre-made framework, but we we're really particular on on the design aspect and the UI portion. Oh, cool. It's actually it's awesome that you guys had a UI designer. And that's yeah, nice. And, yeah. And one more thing too, like if um, even though we've posted a job, I don't know, uh, we just have this software developer right now, um, or or software engineer. We moving forward, um, probably in the new year, we'll likely have to bring in a lot more people. We'll have a bottleneck eventually once we de design all the products. And Dennis and Arjun, who are both our front end engineer or the de developers, they're going to need help. And so yeah. if that's your question. Um, it, we will be looking at that. And uh, right now we've got one job posted, but definitely we will be hiring more and more when it comes uh, probably in about five to six months. So um, it's great to see what you can kind of do now with this challenge. So I think it's still value added if that uh, if that's your question too. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, I, I thought about that. So yeah, for me, it's okay. I, I don't I don't have any, any problems about it. Just, it was just a question, just to clarify the things. So yes, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Uh, there's another question here from ERS. Um, are you guys open to remote? I think I'll let Lauren answer that. <laughs> um, at this time, no. Uh, not saying that that couldn't be a possibility in that discussion we couldn't have with our CTO and our CEO. Um, we're pretty flexible here, I think. Um, even one really great example, uh, Dennis's counterpart, Arjun, like he hasn't had any formal, like, bachelor's degree but he's an amazing front-end developer and we worked with that and so um, I think that that's the great thing about being in a startup if we say no to we say no right now but if it really would work and you're an amazing individual and we could make it work um, uh, potentially that could be so I'm, I'm being super vague and not telling you yes or no right now we have we have no one working remotely everyone works in our headquarters in Vancouver um, and that's probably preferable but I'm not saying that maybe we wouldn't uh, try that in the future uh, it probably doesn't make sense within the next um, probably six to eight months we need everybody in the office we're moving pretty quickly and uh, we, we have a lot of ad hoc meetings uh, and and that helps us a lot, but um, I'm not saying that that can happen in the future as well too. So sorry about being vague, but right now probably no, but uh, it doesn't mean that it couldn't happen. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so maybe we can talk a little bit about, well, first, if they don't have any questions, um, any other questions? Any questions about the challenges? Uh, how are you guys doing with the challenges? Anyone finished it already? Be curious to see about that. Um, okay, no. All right. Uh, what about you know the talk about the, the the team, the culture, kind of what's it like to work at Grow? Um, day in the life. Maybe that'd be that'd be interesting. Uh, Dennis or Henry, I'm sure they could talk. Uh, Grow, we do, and that, like I was saying, we have a lot of ad hoc meetings. I think the best thing about working here is that um, Anna, who's one of our credit managers, uh, she gets to work right beside engineers every day. And you, when you work in a large organization, you see something wrong um, with a product and maybe you make a ticket and you maybe gets fixed. Um, Anna has the ability to literally turn around and say, hey, Dennis, this isn't working on the front end. Can we, what can we do to fix this? Or if Dennis and the back end team are working on designing um, some kind of architecture, uh, they can go and work with the product team right away and ask them, like, does this make sense? Um, there's a lot of collaboration. I think that's the, my favorite part. And we're surrounded by really, really smart people, um, smart in a lot of different ways. So we, I feel like we never have enough people to discuss things with, and we always come up with the best possible solution we can because we're surrounded by great collaboration and really, really smart people. And I know maybe Dennis or Henry can say something else on that, um, but that's that's my take. And I'm I'm HR, so I don't necessarily get to work on every single product. But this is what I like observe, and what people tell me. So that's my opinion. Cool, awesome, sounds fun. Dennis or Henry, you have nothing to say. <laughs> uh, I mean, from an engine engineering standpoint, it's pretty awesome because. Uh, I was just talking to someone that works as an engineer at a big bank 
uh, in Vancouver, uh, HSBC. And every time they want to download any new software or try a new technology, maybe something just came out, they have to get approval from their manager who has to get approval from the person above them. And then it can take up to five business days just to say, oh, I want to try this new version of Bootstrap or I want to try this new version of React, anything like that. And the thing about Grow is we're moving super fast and our team is very smart. And you get to get a, have a big say, I guess, in the big decisions. I mean, you're not going to be steering the company, but from a te te technical standpoint, you get a lot of input. So it's super great. Cool. Awesome. I'm curious if there's any React developers on the line with us. Anyone here have experience with React? Quite rare. <laughs> we have some. I guess maybe not here, but uh, cool. Uh, how, how experienced should the React? Uh, yeah, people are starting to learn. Um, I see how, how, yeah, how, how experienced is experienced? That's a good question. Um, so our newest front end developer, Arjun, uh, he joined the team with no professional React experience. So he just did a couple of things, put him up on GitHub and we saw that. And then uh, we asked him a couple of questions and he seemed to understand the concepts behind React and, but he never had a job where he had to use React. And I mean, that was no issue for us. He could explain it. He had, uh, he used Angular before. So he, he knew how some frameworks work. He knew how to connect APIs. He knew, he was excellent in JavaScript, so off that basis, it's all good. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think we have a lot of fantastic JavaScript developers with us. Uh, I'm looking at you, Leo, uh, and I'm sure other people that I don't know that well as well. Um, and Leo just asked, how are you guys going to evaluate the core programming skills and not React-specific skills? That's a good question. Um, I mean, if you look at any code, I think it's almost, it doesn't take very long to see the person understands how to abstract things, how to not repeat their code, how to make sure all the files are organized well, they're commenting well. Um, I, it's, pretty, it's pretty quick to just see from even a single JS file, oh, this person understands scope, this person knows how to use this, and all those kind of little technical things. Nice, awesome, cool. Leo, I think you got that under control. Um, cool, all right. What would you like as a deliverable in the budgeting challenge tool? Could you maybe talk about that challenge a bit? Lauren? <laughs> uh I don't know. I think I think that when we were coming up with these, I think um, we want to see we we live and breathe this every day, and I think what we were excited about was to see a kind of a different perspective, and maybe what anything that we are missing. Um, we are pretty we're about twenty people still, so there's a lot of things that potentially um, that are outside of the box that we're missing. I think that's why we wanted to open it up and see like what what are some other perspectives. Um, so that's why we kept it pretty open and pretty vague. We didn't really want to sandbox anyone with um, our ideas. We wanted to lead you down a path and then see what you kind of came up with. So as a deliverable in the budgeting tool, um, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know, Dennis, what, what do you think? I think we're very open to um, kind of anything that comes out of it. I think, uh, like Dennis was saying, clean code is obviously like, th those are the basics. We want to we wanna be able to see what you can do. Uh, but then also the ideas and kind of the architecture and what the design is uh, as well. Um, ideas are great. We want to we wanna see those ideas and see um, your creativity. And I don't know, did, did I answer that? Yeah, I think a big thing for me is to see how, how they approach the problem and what kind of creative solutions they came up with. I mean, their tools, like people, most people probably have heard of Mint, that they, they kind of have like budgeting tools. But I think from this, we're kind of hoping people would think outside the box, maybe do something that Mint hasn't and maybe something we haven't thought of. And I think that was our main kind of expectation. Something creative. Cool. I think that, that leaves it wide open. So Alex William and, and I think Franklin 
Um, whatever you guys build, I'm sure will be will be good uh, as long as it's interesting, and creative. Great, cool. Um, any other questions? Okay. Cool. Yeah, excited to see what you guys what you guys are building. Yeah, I, we're all super excited. Definitely, yes, yes, we are. We were talking about this on Friday, actually, and this uh, yeah. everyone in the organization was like, "Ooh, what are they working on?" And it's, they were <laughs> really excited. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get a lot of a lot of good submissions from many talented people. Um, yeah, join the team soon. Actually, maybe that could be something to talk about the interview process. Um, People are always curious about that. How do they stand out in the interview process? Well, what is the interview process? How do they stand out? And uh, um, yeah, well, I think that's, that's good. Yeah, so we, um, uh, our first stage is usually a phone call with um, myself and another developer. And we, we kind of just, it's, it's more of a get to know you call. We want to know what you're about. We want to know um, what you know. Uh, why you're interested in grow it just it just to get to know you it's a pretty casual call and then after that it depends on the position for more of a technical role um so like engineering or developers we potentially might do an actual um technical test but it would be over the phone just questions asking you um simple design questions a lot of it would be from like first year university or just um online questions uh for our developers we didn't uh, like front end we didn't do that but first back end we we did um and then we would bring you in uh, to the office and if that's not available we'd obviously uh throw you on a skype call um and you'd get to know you'd sit with the whole team you would be working with um so this is a good time to actually chat and uh, see what a day in the life would be like, uh, see if you fit in the organization. Um, and then our next stage, so there's actually four pro four steps. Our last stage is um, a technical test day where you would sit with us or um, in the case that if uh, you were remote, we would do it online, but you would have, you'd work for about a half a day on a challenge, kind of similar to this, where we'd give you a challenge and we'd see what you do with that. Um, and then you'd have the ability to ask our engineers throughout the whole day um, and actually work on a real life problem um, and see what you come up with, how far you get. Usually the test tests are harder like you would never be able to solve it in a whole day but that's the point we want to see what you prioritize what your next steps would be um and and it, it usually is higher stress but we it, that's that's our environment we work at a pretty high uh, fast-paced environment so we want to see how you be able to work with that and then also it's a good chance good <laughs> someone's dog <laughs> um if uh <laughs> how you would work uh, within our organization too. And sometimes it's not always the right fit for both parties. So uh, yeah, that's our, that's our process. And I think I went a little bit too long explaining it, but, um, and it's always changing too, depending on feedback we get from applicants who say like, oh, I didn't like this part or uh, we, we've, we're willing to change it and we kind of, we're pretty casual about it. Uh, we just want to bring on the right uh, smart people into our team. Great, that, that was awesome. Um, and another question here is how long does it take or how long do you think it'll take for you guys to get uh, back to people from the hackathon uh, challenges? Uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a good no, question. No rush, no uh, rush, but. So like, do you want feedback on the projects right away or like how, um, if, yeah. Yeah, so people that's are looking for feedback on the projects if possible. Um, and then of course, like for interviews and stuff like that, if it, what would be a timeline? Yeah. Uh, let's, oh, this is the first time we've talked about this. Uh, I'm going to set us uh, a, a timeline. So Dennis, once we receive all of them, I guess we'll, me, Dennis, uh, and Henry will sit and I would say it wouldn't take us more than five business days to like go through and actually provide valued feedback and like, uh, sitting down and giving you that. So I would say five days for that. And then, um, for actual interviews and moving forward in that process. Um, I would say our, our entire process usually takes us about 10 days. Um, from beginning to end, but I would say once we receive all, um, I would say about a week, like a full week. Um, and maybe that's too short and maybe I might have to change my answer, but I feel like I could do, we could do that. Uh, we could work at those timelines. Cool. Cool. I, I just want to warn you that you might get a lot of projects. <laughs> really? How many projects are there? Yeah. So, um, I need to give you access to this, but just so you know, 
uh, from the people doing your challenges, there are 10 plus, uh, oh, where's the other one? 20. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, you have 30 challenges yeah. that people have said that they will do it. So not everyone indicated that. Um, so at least 30 that, you know, I think, I think we're up. Let's, let's just say 30, 30 to 40 maybe. Okay, let's say 10 days for to answer both of those questions. 10 business days and uh, like we, we can move fast if we have to, but we also have lots of other deliverables to work on. So um, yeah, let's, I don't know, Dennis, do you think that's doable? <laughs> am, I, am I overshooting it? Am I selling it too much here? No, we can do it. 10 days, yeah, yeah that's fine. It's uh, too, too many developers for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's great i'm excited that so many people are, pro are working on it that's it's a good cool. problem right yeah our, our customers always say we go from not finding anybody to finding too many people so it's a champagne problem <laughs> <laughs> exactly champagne problem cool guys well um maybe time for one last question anyone have anything that they're curious about um please you know don't hold back i think we've got gone over most things but if there's anything um okay cool well uh lauren uh henry and, and dennis thank you so much for taking your sunday sunday mornings uh to, to be here with us and of course for all your support submitting the challenges and then giving feedback uh to them um oh there was a question here sorry what professional profile you're looking for um yeah maybe you can i guess you kind of touched on that already but maybe you could talk a little bit like what what are you looking for from a professional like point of view and a technical point of view I kind of touched on already just quickly answer maybe yeah like i think we like we like looking at people's githubs i think that's we like seeing projects i think that's that's the great we can see what you worked on um yeah dennis yes yeah definitely on the front end um i mean for the front end our interview process we don't really ask you to sit down and write code in front of us or get a whiteboard and pen and paper and write code not in your comfortable environment. So we definitely like to see like projects you've done, GitHub, any, anything that's live on the internet. And then uh, our actual challenges are, it's not like FizzBuzz, it's actually, can you create this API? Can you hook this data somewhere? Can you do that kind of stuff? Cool. Awesome. All right. Thanks guys. Well, uh, I'm going to, this is recorded, so I'll put it back. Uh, I'll put it on YouTube for anyone who wants to watch it later. Um, good luck to all the participants. Uh, you get your challenges in by 8 PM uh, Brazil time and uh, Lauren, Henry, Dennis, thanks again. We'll be in touch. Cool. Bye everybody. Thank you. Thanks. See ya.